Hello guys, today we are going to be learning how to store an image in a MySQL database using the blob data type. So I'll begin by talking through the um, file structure I'm going to be using. I have my tutorial directory here, and then the actual Python file, an example image to store and retrieve from the database. And then the important bit is this folder called image outputs. This is where we're going to be storing all the images that we retrieve from the database. So let's begin. We'll start with uh, importing our mysql.connector module and this is just the module that allows us to um, communicate with our mysql database via python next step is to create a database instance uh, mydb equals mysql.connector.connect and this takes the parameters host Uh, user, password, and the database that we will be using. Okay, next step is to create a database cursor. So my cursor equals my db dot cursor. And the cursor is just the object that we use to actually interact with the database. So before we uh, proceed on to actually creating our table and storing images, I'm just going to create a small menu to um, help us navigate, add, uh, inserting and retrieving images. So we'll just output option one, insert image with a line break and option two, read image. And then we'll take the user's input and store it under the variable menu input. So if menu input is equal to one, we'll ask the user to input the file path that they would like to store within the database. into file path and then we will execute the function insert blob with the parameter user file path and we'll write the function insert blob in a second elif uh, the menu input is equal to 2 we will uh, allow the user to input the ID of the image that they would like to retrieve and store it under the variable user ID choice. And we will then uh, execute the function retrieve blob with the parameter user ID choice. And we'll write that function in a sec. So that's the, uh, a nice menu to help us uh, navigate this. So now what we're going to do is we need to create our actual database for storing these images in. So we're going to write the code my cursor dot execute and our SQL function will be create table if not exists and we'll call it images and it will have the, the first column will be ID which is of the data type integer. We'll put a random number in there. And it has the parameters not null, because we always need a value to be stored in that um, column. Uh, auto underscore increment, which just means that every time a new row is added to the table, um, the value of the column ID will be incremented by one. And primary key. The next column will be called photo and the data type will be long blob and it's also not null. So what is a blob? A blob uh, stands for binary large object and it's just a data type that is used to store a large chunk of data. There's several types of blob. The smallest is a tiny blob which can store up to 256 bytes. Then a blob which can store up to 64 kilobytes, then a medium blob which stores up to 16 megabytes, 
and finally a long blob which can store up to 4 gigabytes. I've used a long blob here, it's not entirely necessary. Um, when you're creating larger databases and you have to worry about efficiency, it wouldn't be the best idea to use a long blob, but we don't have to worry about that right now. So the next step is to write our insert blob function. So this is the function that's going to be executed when the user inputs 1. And it will take the parameter file path. So as you can see, when we've executed the function here, we've passed in user file path as the parameter for file path. So every time we execute this code and you see file path, that just means user file path here. So the first thing to do is to use Python's inbuilt file handling to open up the file stored in the file path that the user has inputted. So with open file path, and then the second parameter in here will be rb, which just means that we're going to read the file. We're not going to edit it. As file, our variable binary data equals file.read. And all dot read will do is return the binary data of the file that we've just opened. The next thing to do is write out our our uh, SQL statement that we will execute in a second. And this will just say insert into images the column photo and the values percent %s. And what percent %s does is uh, substitutes a variable that you specify into the um, SQL command. And the next step is to actually execute that command, SQL statement, and the, the comma uh, separates it. So we'll execute SQL statement, and after the comma, we will put binary data. And all that will do is going to substitute the variable binary data into where this percent %s is. So what we're doing here is we're inserting the binary data that we've just read into the table images under the column photo and the, the primary key of the ID will be automatically incremented for us. So the final thing to do is save our changes using the command dot commit. So the, that's how we um, insert an image into our database. The next bit of code will be retrieving our image or our blob. Now the retrieve blob uh, function will take the parameter id which is what the user has inputted here in our menu and as you can see we're passing the parameter in. So uh, first thing to do is we're going to write out another SQL statement. Select star from images where ID equals single quotations here, curly brace, zero, curly brace. So what's this doing here? It's selecting every entry into images where the ID equals uh, what the user has inputted. So we're going to substitute for the uh, curly braces here. We're going to substitute the value ID in a second. So because the primary key is unique, every entry into a table has a unique primary key. Um, this should only return one value, otherwise you've done something massively wrong. Um, the next step is to actually um, execute our command, SQL statement to dot format. So we're going to format a string ID. We've typecast ID as a string. We don't want it to be an integer or else it won't work in within this string. And all that's doing is placing the value of ID in where these curly braces are. The next step is to actually uh, get our results from that query. And we'll store that under the variable my result. So my result equals my cursor dot fetch one. So that just fetches the first result of that query. So even if we do get more than one response, we will just get the first one. Dot fetch one. And right. Um, 
the reason we're putting the uh, the the index here is because the results of MySQL queries will always be returned as a tuple, and we want the value of in, within the tuple that's number one. We don't want the ID the uh, with index zero that will return the ID for us. We want index one, which will return the blob. So uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called store file path and this is the file path which will allow us to output uh, our to store our image that we've just retrieved from the SQL database within the folder image outputs so we're just going to go image outputs slash image curly brace zero curly brace zero dot jpeg and we are going to format in where that zero is the value uh, the ID that the user inputs it so what that should do will uh, store the image that we've retrieved within the folder image outputs with the name image and then followed by the the images ID next uh, We'll just put in print my result so we can see the binary data when it's uh, been retrieved. And finally, we're going to use uh, Python's file handling again. This time, we're going to go to the directory specified by the variable store file path. Uh, and this time, we're going to put, put in the parameter wb, which means that we're actually editing the file rather than just reading it. Uh, all we're going to do is file.write brackets my result that will just write the binary data into this uh, image outputs folder and then just close the file because we don't want the data to be corrupted and that is it that is all the code that needs to be done um, a little thing that I forgot by the way is that um, up here in our insert blob function we need to put brackets around binary data and then a comma and a space after because um, a SQL statements when they're executed data has to be passed into them as a tuple it can't just be passed in as uh, data on its own so remember to do that okay then now let's um, execute our code and see if it works. So we're going to run. And as you can see, we have our menu here. First thing we are going to do is, one, to insert the image. So our file path will simply be example image.jpg. If your image isn't stored in the project directory, you will have to put in the full uh, file path. As you can see, the process is finished. So if we go over to our MySQL workbench here and we put in a well first we'll have to do use tutorial and all that does is specifies which database we are using so run that then uh, select star from images and this will just select everything stored within images and as you can see this is our uh, images table and we have an entry with the primary uh, key of one and a blob stored within the photo column. So that's how we know that it's worked. Next step, uh, step in our testing is to read an image. So to read image, we'll enter the ID, which is one. And as you can see, the binary data has been outputted for us here. And if you look in our image outputs folder, our image is here. And this is the image that we had stored in our SQL database. So, it works. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.